We keep it under wraps because there's a lot of shame around sexuality and it's still very taboo for a lot of people and it's hard to talk about and it's hard to ask for what we want and I think the two biggest fears people have are the fear of being rejected and the fear of being judged. Sex energy is life energy and that is the energy that's positive and repression and all the stuff that we go through as women, women have got to get on the other side of this. And Amy jo has been doing this for quite some time. My friend Amy Jo, who we are honoring tonight, who absolutely were role models for me to embrace my sexuality, to embrace who I am. You knew that sexuality wasn't about how we get treated here always, but how we get treated in our soul, how we get treated in our heart, and how we're communicating with each other. I worked with Amy Jo in her Your Sexually Empowered Life program last year, which was fantastic. I know other people who are here were part of it, and, uh, and it was totally life-changing for me. And before starting it, I was in a place where I was I was in that outside place. I wasn't home in myself. That's why I dance. I feel like every time I dance, it's like a, it's a reminder of that coming home. Amy Jo is an expert at really getting women related to their bodies. Um, specifically for me, um, what she gave me was the gift to be aware of the shame that I was carrying in regards to my sexual satisfaction. Working with Amy Jo has been really life uh, transforming and extremely healing for me. Being able to really develop an intimate relationship requires that you talk about some of the uh, uncomfortable stuff. But she doesn't make you feel bad about those things, she normalizes them. Being able to heal from those old conversations and trauma that revolve around money and sexuality uh, means to reclaim our power as women. She's truly an original um, and she's fearless. You know, I look at her and go, that woman just sets her course and goes. Now I'm fully aware and open and I'm sexually expressive in who I am and I am not ashamed. I'm having a good time. Mm -mm. Being comfortable in yourself means you get to be free, more authentic, more joyful. When you come from this place of being at home in yourself without all of the mitigation and self-patrolling you used to do, without constantly filtering your thoughts, reactions, and feelings so other people will like you, that's when you become the real you. It's all in me. Oh, I can reach a right now. Everyone from A to Z.